Hello, bonjour. Here is a hack to quickly texture your 3D anime props in Blender. Some may recall seeing this in my previous short videos where I used AI to generate stylized textures and use them as a starting point in Blender. To create all the assets you see, it only took me between 5 and 10 minutes per piece to both model and texture them. However, I must emphasize that this method does not replace the level of quality and precision achieved by the artist who will hand paint textures. But it is a good method if you want to quickly populate your anime environment and backgrounds with 3D props. First step is to go to the DALI2 website. If you don't have an account, create one. The first time I used DALI2, I would get 50 credits for the first month and then 15 free credits every following month. These credits are the currency provided by OpenAI for AI prompts. Here, your aim is to create 2D texture for various elements like sand, rocks, woods, grass, bricks, anything necessary to texture your prop. The challenge lies in obtaining texture that work well and match the desired style. A helpful tip is to explore websites that offer stylized textures and incorporate some of their metadata into your prompts. For instance, for that stone wall texture, the prompts comes from metadata found on the internet and I got something in the same tone to what I was looking for, but different enough. From my experience trying to generate multiple textures, when trying to get something stylized, the word cartoon style gave me the best results over hand painted, cell shaded, stylized, or anime style. Once you generated the textures you need, download them and let's move on to Blender. In Blender, I created a simple bench using very basic shapes. I'll use this asset as an example, but you can use the same setup and adapt it to your liking for pretty much any props. First, we need to import the downloaded text Texture, we can either drag and drop them into the shading tab or we can add a image texture and load the texture from there. Next, we need to adjust the UV scale for optimal results, which requires unwrapping the object and tweaking the UV scale and its position. This can also be done in the node view using Ctrl T after clicking on the image texture. Then we can adjust the mapping node to our liking by tweaking the position or the scale. At this point, we could stop if we were satisfied, but now we want to modify the color. We'll use a mixed color node, set it to multiply and use an RGB input to darken the wood for instance. But what about getting shadows? No worries, we can establish a classic cell shader using a diffuse BSDF, shader to RGB and a color ramp that we set to constant. We'll use another multiply mixed color nodes to create a darker shadow color and blend everything using another mixed color nodes. Connect the color ramp to the factor, the shadow color to A, the light color to B. For the bench sides, I applied a basic cell shader coupled with a noise texture. The last step is to create an outline. For that, we will use grease pencil, shift A, Grease pencil and select collection line or object line art, depending on whether you have a single object or a collection of objects requiring outline. Note that the grease pencil will only function in the camera view. If you change the angle outside of the camera view, you may get strange results. We can then tweak the thickness of the outline and the edge type that we want. Et voila, now we have a 3D bench ready for use in our anime environment. Feel free to support by leaving a like, comment, or subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already watched my video on creating and setting up a HDRI for anime style, this is a complimentary video that will quickly help you to generate environments for your anime scenes. Au revoir.